beyond the buzzer. It is essentially a dream come true for local kids. Imagine playing an NBA video game against NBA players. Well, that's what a group of local youth will get to do. Pretty cool. This Friday, there will be an NBA 2K24 video game tournament at Microsoft headquarters. The best part? It's all for a good cause. Joining us from the Arc Lounge to continue the conversation this morning is events organizers, sports marketing agents, Keontae Frager and Jameer Chen. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Thanks so much for coming in. So this is the third gaming event you've planned in partnership with Microsoft here in Seattle. Tell us why you started the video game tournament and what's the feedback like so far? Uh, honestly, um, yeah, it's crazy to say this is our third one, you know, just because we all did, we did it, you know, three times this year and one year alone. But uh, the reason why we wanted to do it is because, you know, me and JC, we was like, there's nothing else like that in, here in Seattle where a student or, you know, um, a regular person can go to and be like, hey, I could play against a professional athlete, whether that's a NBA player or an NFL player right here in our backyard, you know? So we looked at it like, okay, where can we go to to even create this type of, you know, atmosphere in the event? And, you know, we have Microsoft here in our backyard, and it's like, okay, let's go there and see if we can put this together. And once we went there, you know, we told them what we was trying to do, and we put it together, what, in seven days? Mm -hmm. For our first two events each, seven days each, and now we're here with our third event. But we just wanted to create something that, you know, the create an experience that you can't really get nowhere else. And I know JC can speak more about that as well. Correct. I mean, um, for us to be able to just put this on and, and, and Microsoft to have um, open arms, it's it's been fantastic for them to just give us this opportunity. And for this to be the third um, go around, these kids are just amazing. Um, the respect that they have for the players, the players that have respect for the children, it's just a, it's a beautiful thing. Again, I, I grew up in an area where you didn't have opportunities to do this as well as Keontae did it himself. Um, so for us to be able to get in contact with the NFL and, and NBA players and, and they have open arms to do this, it's just, it's just fantastic for the city, for the community, for the children. And, and hopefully we can keep this going and more people will join us and, and see what we're trying to grow and build here. Yeah, what a great partnership. So Friday's tournament benefits the Kent Youth Center. Can you expand on how it helps the kids and how this is a way to get them on the right path as well? Absolutely. Uh, like we said, you know, we, we had a chance to partner with Kent Youth. At one point we was looking for nonprofits and schools to, you know, partner with. But like I said, it's kind of, it's tough trying to put together events in, you know, seven days. But luckily, you know, when you start building connections here, you know, in Seattle, we have a lot of people that can connect us to different, you know, rooms. And, you know, we figured, we was like, Kent, it's a nice, it's a nice way from Redmond, you know. So we was like, hey, let's figure out how we could get, you know, these kids here and uh, get them in, in this environment where they could play against these athletes. And how we, how it worked out for us is we partnered with local companies. So our sponsors, whether like it's already, we're not asking for nothing crazy as far as a, you know, big donation, but uh, we partner with these companies to give a gift of item and to sponsor two to three kids to play in the tournament. So uh, the kids get to play for free, you know, and that's what we really wanted. We wanted a, we want these kids, these Kent youth kids to be able to play and, you know, other kids as well to play for free, uh, no cost to them to not only be in a room with athletes, for example, our last tournament we had Nate Robinson, Daryl Taylor, uh, Tariq Willen, and Tariq Willen was playing with these, you know, with these guys, you know, in this tournament. So to create that experience for them where they could be like, wow, not only am I playing against, you know, this NFL player and, you know, they might want to be an NFL player one day, but they can ask some questions. They can take pictures with this person. Um, we wanted just to create that, you know, uh, for them. So. Definitely. I agree. Yeah. Wow. I know that they're going to be uh, impressed and inspired as well. So yeah. you just mentioned a few of the uh, notable athletes that will probably be present at the events. Yeah. You mentioned Nate Robinson, Seahawks player yeah. Daryl Taylor, Isaiah Thomas, all participating in Friday's uh, event. Why was right. it important to get these players involved and how does it relate to your work as sports marketing agents? They are really big um, influences here um, for myself. For Keontae, for a lot of these young kids, um, they give back to the community um, frequently. Um, they are still locally owned, like locally here. Um, a lot of these players that um, grew up here stay here. 
Um, they do a lot of different events. They do a lot of different charity work. So it's, it's inspiring to learn from them and hear how they go about doing these events and getting these other organizations involved. And that's how we learned and that's how we were able to get these nonprofit organizations to come together, get some of the schools to come together. I mean, you, we see a lot of the tragedies, things that's going on here in Seattle, especially what just recently happened at Garfield High School. That's what we want to help. We want to be able to help and, and, and let these kids know that there is other options, other opportunities to, to grow and not be on the streets and not be in trouble. You know, there's so much here that we can give back or give to to make sure that we don't have these things happening constantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I think the biggest thing is just being, like I said, like I say, just being a bridge, you know, between the two athletes Correct. and the community. Um, knowing that we have access to a lot of these athletes, you know, whether it's people from Seattle Storm, you know, Seahawks, uh, Sounders, like a lot of your local teams, local legends that's here, having access to them and showing them that what we, what we can do and what we can bring together when we all collaborate, you know, so, and it's not even just the athletes, it's the companies that's here too, you know, we're partnering with Astra Hotel to give away a free staycation, you know, for a lucky winner, you know, in the raffle or, you know, um, you know, STK is giving away a free dinner for somebody, so like, that's the opportunities that we're trying to create. So it's like, it's not just the athletes that they're getting it. They're beating other local, you know, creatives like Damon Brown. Uh, he go as Creative Lou on Instagram. Um, he's an artist, you know, and he's giving away, you know, he sponsored a couple of kids to play in the tournament, but also giving away two hours of his time so that kids can learn how to do art. Um, same for other DJs, you know, Chris Karma, that, that's here. Like a lot of these local, you know, influence the people that's here, you know, putting them all in one roof and one umbrella to be in the room. And I think that's what it's about, just being in the room. Yeah, we certainly applaud you for your efforts with this, too. How no, can you, uh, youth sign up? And then what do you see the future of this program be looking like? Oh, gosh. I, I mm -hmm. So for them to sign up, they can uh, message us on um, Instagram at uh, key.frager or myself, JC Reactivity. Um, or they can actually come to Microsoft the day of. They can actually sign up then. Um, the event starts at 11 a.m. We ask everyone to please be there by 11.30 so that we can start at 12. Um, and I really, really hope that the next ones here in the next couple years, I mean, I'm hoping that we can go even bigger. I'm hoping that we can get other companies involved. I'm hoping that we can pack the place out. Microsoft, again, has been very gracious to us and been a big help, um, giving us the space to, to use. Again, working with Tesla, working with Bogey Boy, Macklemore's company, um, Miss Bellevue will be there, so a lot of these young kids can ask, you know, about pageants, about beauty, about coming up from a rough area and now being able to be on TV. A lot of opportunity for them to to learn and just see that there's so much to offer. Um, so again, in the near future, I'm hoping that we can go so much bigger and be able to give back to the community, go to different, you know, different states, if anything, yeah. and just build this as an entire, entire brand. Yeah, honestly, uh, just to piggyback on that, um, you know, the goal, you know, my goal is to really turn this into an annual, you know, thing where we probably do twice a year. Like, granted, we did it three times this year. I think the reason why we wanted to do it three times and all in one year is because, you know, sometimes you got to show people that you can really, you know, do it. Yeah. And, you know, some people don't believe the first time or that second time. And I'm like, this time we just wanted to really show that, you know, you know, trust us in what we do and then also that we, we are capable to putting this together. You know, uh, like I told you the first time, like, we put together two events. Uh, the first two events in seven days, you know, and with, that's getting sponsors, that's getting the place, making sure the games is updated for, you know, everyone getting food. You know, it's mm -hmm. like we put it together in seven days. This one, obviously, we had a month and a half to, you know, to do this, which is way better. But, you know, the big thing is getting more people to see what we're doing and be like, hey, we want to put our name on this, and here's why. And it's a lot more opportunities where I feel like we can really collaborate, especially here in Seattle. There's so many tech companies here, so many companies here, and I feel like, we have exactly what we need to make this a big thing annually here in Seattle. And then if we want to take it out of Seattle, we definitely can as well. But, you know, we're kicking it off here. So it's like 
we in our backyard, so let's see how we all can work with each other. Using your platform for good. Yeah. Keontae and Jameer, thank you so much for joining us and for the work you're doing out there for those kids. Uh, thank, thank you, you so much. Us. Thanks for coming in.